What's up, everybody? We back once again with more Chestnut. It's our last segment, so we're going to finish this off with legacy. Hmm. So how, hmm. how important is wow. legacy to you as far as, um, and we can encompass everything. So as far as this, your career, you know, you, I'm more concerned about just you as a man. Um, what, is, what does that mean to you? Like how important is legacy? Or when, or when you think of the term legacy, what comes to mind? Honestly, uh, it's not really important to me. Okay. It's, it's important to me when I think about my legacy for myself, it's as long as I left my kids and my, my kids prepared and my family comfortable. That's what it is for me. Just in terms of I've never thought about um, in terms of my career, how do I want people to, to remember me by, you know, the, the challenge, not for me, but just in general, I think in the, in the, in the industry to where it's so much about image is so much about perception is so much about what people are saying about you. I've never been concerned about that, mm. you know, cause I've been involved in situations to where people may come off, people may have a certain opinion of me that I know is not me and it's not for anything that I've done, you know, it's for something that where, however they perceive it, you know? And so I've never really thought about honestly how I'm going to be remembered um i i just don't really think about it man that's interesting um because i think you should man I, I think why i say that because like you're somebody that i know personally i've looked up to uh because you you started this business you know before i did so yeah, there were there were people that you know contemporary in age but had already started before me that you know, I aspire to be like, you know what I mean? Like, and I always respected just how you carried yourself. And we talked a little bit about it earlier, just mm -hmm. how you come off like very humble, um, very disciplined, very matter of fact. Um, so I'm just, yeah, that's just interesting. Like, I think it's, I think it's important for um, the, the generation underneath us, you know, whether we're trying to leave a, uh, leave a legacy or not. Um, that you clearly stand for something. So, okay, so. And maybe you just haven't thought about it in those terms. You know I've not mean? thought about it in those terms. I mean, for me, it's in the sense to where, like you say, people see me and people tell me all the time, say, you know, I don't hear anything that negative about you. I always try to project and be positive. Whenever I see somebody in the gym, I'll, I'm always encouraging of their career, uh, encouraging of their situation. Um, I'm not judgmental at all. However, when it, when I think of how I want to be remembered, I don't think of it like that. I just don't. I just feel that I want to talk to people and touch people who want to listen. Mm. I can't tell you, you and I were in the gym the other day and I told you that kid came up to yeah. me. What I had to tell him was, so he came up to me, he said, he said, man, I really want to do this acting, this, that, and the other. I've heard that hundreds of times. I told him, I said, listen, here's one of the acting coaches that I, I've done. You can give him a call, right? The, the woman called me and said, hey, do you know this guy in the gym? I said, wow, he actually called you because I've told hundreds of people that. And he was the first one, literally the first one. She says, wow. So she's, and she even said, so he was, so she was interested in letting him in the class because it's a very, you know, it's an ex exclusive class somewhat. And so it's, a, it's, it's, it's really hard to connect to anybody. So my legacy or connecting to young people or connecting to anybody is only as effective as they're willing and open to let that happen. You see what I'm saying? And so I've never, again, I've, I've never thought about it like that. I've never thought about, you know, what you said, but in my encouragements, in my discussions, in my interviews, however, whatever they get out of it, that's what my legacy is, whatever it is to them. And I've never thought about, okay, how do you want to be remembered more? How do you want people? It's because to me, Honestly, 
I am what I am. You know, I've known people in this business. The the to me, the uh, what means a lot to me is I've known people when I was starting, before I was starting out, when I was starting out, and now. And they said, "Hey, man, you're still the same." You know, and that's what's important to me that I've never forgot where I've come from. I've always been the same person, the same person that I was back then. Now I've matured. I've learned a lot. You know, being in this world, being in the world in general. I mean, I, obviously, you and I were talking the other day. I'm not the same person at 19 that I am now, but the essence of me is still the same. You know, and that's that's what that's just how I, I i hope to be remembered and maybe that's the legacy right maybe there. that's amazing yeah and that's, that's the that's a, all right cool man so we're gonna wrap it up um i just have one last question sure. for shits and giggles uh, um uh -oh. this is uh conversations with brooklyn um if you had to have a porn name <laughs> Okay, okay. Wow, you know what that's what didn't they used to say what they say, uh I, I wow, a porn name. <laughs> I never thought of it. I thought of that. But see, what did they used to say? Did they used to say your pet and your street name? Is that what it was? I thought that's what they say. So so well, you would know better than I would. I <laughs> no, no, no. So um it's so okay, so uh I think that's what they used okay. to say, because you know, um so mine would have been Frisco Jerry or Jerry Frisco. Okay. Jerry Frisco. <laughs> Jerry, Fr Jerry Frisco. Jerry, yep. Jerry Frisco. Cause I grew up on Jerry street and our main pet that, you know, that was a family pet at the time was his, uh, Frisco. And, uh, or it could be, uh, and another, after that dog ran away, um, it could be, uh, you know, Jerry red or red Jerry. But, that was it. but yeah, that, I guess yeah. That, that would be it. What would yours so, be? Yeah, so using that, uh -huh. I had a dog named Bear. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so okay, I'm right. already winning. Okay, what's so, your street the name? street what was, street was street that you grew up on? Del Marino. That's your, that's your name. Bear Del, Del Marino. Marino. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, man. We that's right. it for today. Oh, this is my main man, Morris Chester. Appreciate Morris you, brother, man. man. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for so interviewing much, me, bro. man. Give me a chance to, to talk to everybody. And yeah, and we're gonna do it again. It's gonna be oh, more God. stuff like this. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna wrap it up. Conversation with Brooklyn. See you next time.